Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. You guys know what time it is. We're going to be talking about XRP. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for absolutely killing it with the support. Continue supporting and you will see a continuation of these updates. But this right here is a very, very exciting update. So if you hold XRP, you do want to watch this video till the absolute end. So Looking across the market, as far as the broader market is concerned, as we are going into Friday morning, we are seeing quite a bit of green across the board, which is, of course, really nice to see. We did have a little bit of a shakeout for Bitcoin earlier yesterday, which I obviously covered in my video that I made. Um, but since then, you know, Bitcoin is rebounding. Um, obviously, the inflation numbers came out, you know, they were higher um, than expected, but you are starting to see the market pick up traction. But, you know, what's really important, of course, in this update is XRP. It's up 2.5%. You know, we got a lot to discuss. Looking at the price of 54 cents, guys, almost. Yep, you've heard that correct. Also, up 3% in Bitcoin comparative market cap holding above $30 billion, around 30.5. And the 24-hour trading volume, about $1.4 billion. But before we get into it, as always, just a quick disclaimer, anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto. You know, this right here is a massive and i repeat massive massive news and i will explain of course why uh, it's a massive news so look at this latest bitnominal sues sec over claim that xrp is a security the xrp token is already regulated as a commodity and the sec duplicates and compounds the regulatory burden by saying it's a security bitnominal argues so you could see the landscape is shifting and I spoke about this and people were calling me absolutely crazy you know right after um, we saw that appeal coming out you guys know on this channel we keep it 100% unbiased um, and you know that's why my viewers really appreciate these updates and you know, enjoy these updates I was quite clear that one thing a lot of people are not understanding is the way XRP was holding, considering, you know, how that appeal originally happened, which a lot of people were expecting the prices were to drop down to 30 cents again. But that did not happen. And what was really interesting was, you know, the price of XRP was ranging around the 53 to 54 cents mark because what, you know, the entire landscape and, you know, the sentiment specifically has been changing. People are starting to see the bigger picture. Look what's happening with the SEC. People are coming after SEC asking questions. Why are they doing this? Things are not making sense. And now BitNominal has, you know, sued them which is absolutely crazy to think of. And on top of that, if you know, BitNominal uh, has also won to launch XRP Futures, which of course an announcement came out about a few um, month and a half ago, but very big news right here in front of us. And this will shift the momentum. Speaking about the momentum, I really want to show you guys this. We'll come back onto this specific thing. You can see, Ripple launches crypto custody services for banks expanding beyond its core payment business. And, you know, the Crypto Inside UK says this, the wider sentiment towards Ripple and XRP is shifting. And I could not agree more. You know, people are starting to realize, hold on, regulation is coming. And at the same time, you know, this lawsuit is being dragged on. But people are, you know, kind of putting the lawsuit in the back burner, especially after the cross appeal and starting to, you know, focus on what Ripple as a brand really is doing and how it is, you know, evolving, you know, the developments coming out, real world use case, how we talk about XRP allegedly and the importance of that, you know, the bigger picture is what people are starting to focus on. And that's where the speculation lies, in my opinion, moving forward. Speaking about that, a shout out to Smoke for posting this, you know, timing is perfect. XRP institutional passive income opportunity coming soon. Valor Asset Management is set to launch 50 new ETPs this year with plans for 30 more in 2025. Crypto-based products for sophisticated investors are rapidly expanding and Valor is taking its step further by offering physical staking ETPs. These products will provide clients a safe, secure, and regulated way to earn passive income using cryptocurrencies like XRP and XTC. 
the initiative is expected to increase institutional demand for XRP and XTC while also giving holders the chance to stake their assets and earn rewards alongside major institutions, offering a new source of passive income in the crypto space. Documented absolutely insane to see regulation is coming, but this just changes the game. Imagine how much money will flow into uh, some of these coins. Remember, not everyone is uh, familiar with self custody. Uh, you know, people don't know that, and this is where you know ETPs, the likes of ETFs, uh, you know, comes into play. And this will change the game. But speaking about um, you know the bit nominal um, you know case, that is something that is worthwhile noting. Breaking. This is actually a breaking, breaking. Announcement. I want to know from you guys in the comments down below what you guys personally think about this. But let's take a look at what's happening with the native tokens price right now. As we are starting to see a little bit of bullish momentum for the broader market, uh, what is really happening with XRP? So first and foremost, what I want you guys to focus on is the dominance index. So you know, dominance index is pulling down 57.7%. Meanwhile, Bitcoin has seen a little bit of a bounce. We actually made our way back above that key resistance, which is very, very important. We know the importance of that key resistance. Uh, we actually she did wick below it but um we have seen the price go back above here but like i said earlier i wouldn't be surprised if we do see sideways momentum uh for the month of october reason why i think that is because of course uncertainty for the broader market due to the u.s elections so would not be surprised about that but if it goes the way a lot of crypto enthusiasts are hoping for uh, potential super cycle conversations can begin but i think it's way too early to kind of you know uh start talking about that uh let's just focus on closing at the year of 2024 before we kind of look a little bit further but speaking about xrp guys you guys can see this for yourself xrp has seen a 54 i'm sorry 54 cents retest and i know a lot of people are going to come out and say that's nothing who cares but no that is worthwhile noting believe it or not if you want to put this into perspective it has gone up about seven percent since that low that it set for itself just a few days ago um and that was around 51 sense but you can see as the price is trying to break out there's a key resistance coming in its way but i think as more and more people start finding out about this bit nominal news and of course you know the cross appeal and bitcoin on top of that if it's really able to uh, turn things around would not sur be surprised at all if the price of xrp not just make its way back about 58 cents but even potentially starts heading towards a new monthly high which would be you know the biggest statement uh, that could be coming out and speaking about statement you know it's already making a statement as to what's really happening you know people are backing it you know crypto community as a whole is backing uh you know this xrp lawsuit that's going on which just seems to be uh you know planned at this point uh but let me know in the comments down below what you guys think because i think this one right here is something that we need to be focusing on and uh, i i think you know a lot of people are going to be talking about this because this right here really tells you what is happening so uh so let me know in the comments down below what you guys think uh what are your uh, overall thoughts um you know are we going to see more and more people coming out so now we have seen a cross appeal and on top of that ben uh, nominal has actually sued um, and you know favoring xrp so is this going to really impact um, you know this lawsuit decision potentially um, let me know in the comments down below about that and yeah thank you so much for all your support cannot thank you guys enough we'll see you tomorrow in crypto zx and peace out